Vice President Jagdeep Thantra, who is the ex official chairman of the Rajya Sabha, was in Great Adoni earlier this month when he received information and saw a video of a Lok Sabha TMC MP Kalyan Banaji doing mimicry of him outside the Parliament House. He was especially aggrieved to know that the Congress MP Rahul Gandhi was capturing the amusing episode on his cell phone. Chairman Thantra, in chair in Rajya Sabha then, chastised P. Chidambaram, the Congress leader in Rajya Sabha, about the mischief of his supreme leader. Chairman Thantra told the members in general how much emotional stress he has gone through because of the sinister actions of the opposition members. The Prime Minister and President of India immediately came to the defence of Chairman Dhanka. It shows low politics of the opposition parties, the ruling establishment said. But in the process it forgot that the ruling party's lumpin army is in the business of demonizing the opposition leaders day and night. And what's more galling, the ruling party's most politicians from top to bottom are part of this troll brigade. Is this the case of a kettle telling the pot black? It must be made clear, politicians need to engage with those who roast them to satire, mimicry or any kind of lampooning. More so when someone is doing it is a fellow politician. If you can at least pretend to enjoy it, that will take the steam out of the satire. If you cannot digest it with a straight face, then in you ignore the mimics. But please don't whine. You politicians have the thick skin and they keep doing to others what others do to you. Is it when you do it to others it's fine and when others do it the same to you that becomes low politics? Yes, there are no goals. No one should drag a family member into your orbit of satire and engage in tasteless parody. But so long as the object of satire is a public functionary one is well within one's right to lampoon them. But there are two ways in of doing it. One way is being vicious towards your object. The other is doing it in a good humored way as a form of entertainment. That is, you seek to amuse yourself and others surrounding you by caricaturing the object you need to satire. The viciousness of the political satire is reflected in the Papu Jai directed at Rahul Gandhi by the troll army of the ruling party. A troll army that includes even the ministers. An example of political satire for entertainment was Kalyan Chatterjee's mimicry outside Parliament House. Well, the BJP's argument may be that Rahul Gandhi is just an MP. He can be what? But not someone like the Vice President Dhanka as he is holding a high constitutional position. Question is, will our Honorable Vice President Jagdeep Dhanka express his distress at Prime Minister Narendra Modi no less for lampooning the then vice president Hamid Ansari in his face in Rajya Sabha itself in 2017. Remember, Prime Minister Modi was doing it in front of the vice president. That too in the house itself when Dr. Ansari was in the chair. Contrast this. Kalyan Banerjee, a TMC MP, was caricaturing the current vice president outside the house where a mock parliament was on and the chairman of Rajya Sabha was not present. 
Imagine if the Congress leader Chidambaram would have done the same thing to Jagdeep Dhankar. What Prime Minister Modi had done to Hamid Ansari. While the respective vice presidents were in the chair. What ruckus the BJP would have created then. So is it that when an opposition MP lampoons the chairman of Rajya Sabha, it brings down the dignity of the office of the vice president? But when the prime minister mocks the chairman of the Rajya Sabha, he elevates the stature of the vice president? This is the double standard that needs to be exposed. Let's make it clear, if you are in a position of authority, you will be subject to satire, mimicry. No one lampoons a pauper or a person of little consequence. Lesser people envy and lampoon those who are in a higher position of authority compared to them. And that is the reality, that is the part of coexistence. There is nothing to be exercised about it. Vice President Hamid Ansari had listened to Prime Minister Modi's typecasting him as a communal leader and had gracefully buried the matter. Vice President Ansari did not cause a hue and cry. But Vice President Jaddi Thankar took exception to just a caricature of his mannerism. Mind you, Kalyan Banerjee was not indulging in any, in any character assassination. He was just mimicking the body language of the chairman of the Rajya Sabha. Vice President Thankar could have ignored that completely. By not doing so, he made Kalyan Banerjee, hitherto an unknown team CMP, a household name in the country. Vice President Hunter should remember the perceptive words of a white judge of the United States of America, Harvey Wilkinson. Judge Wilkinson had once said, nothing is more thoroughly democratic than to have the high and mighty lampooned and spoofed. An observant electorate may also gain by watching the reactions of objects of satiric comment. Noting those who take themselves seriously and those whose self-perspective is somewhat more relaxed. Our current Vice President, it seems, takes himself too seriously. He would do himself and the country good if he evolves as a statesman with a less inflated ego and more relaxed. I teach it. Thank you.